Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we will continue with Death from the Darksiders universe. At this session we will paint the scythes he has. We will start by applying some iron hand steel to the main body of the scythes as well as the handles and the bottom part. After the first layer of iron hand steel has dried, we will make a mix of warp stone glow and metal medium. This will be 1 to 1 ratio. You can find the metal medium I use in the video at Vallejo's paint series. We will paint only the main body of the scythe with this paint, leaving the handle and the bottom part still in iron hand steel. forward we will use Nagaroth Knight in order to paint the base of the gloves. the pieces of cloth between the upper part and the handle, let's use some Rhinox hide.
adding some grease here, we will paint the first layer of the bony part on the globes. Having finished the bones on the gloves, we will use some Coelia green shade to give nice shadows on the sides. While waiting for the green shade to dry, we will apply some Nuln oil to the rest of the sides. Next step is to overlay the grey shear we did earlier with some Wraith Bow in order to give an even more bony feeling.
depth to the cloth we painted earlier, we will use some Agrax Earth Shade to shade it. Once we are done with Agrax, we will apply Skeleton Whore to the bones we painted. Now it is time to do highlights. Starting from top to bottom, we will go back to Iron Hand Steel and paint the most raised areas. Just like with Iron Hand Steel, we will use the mix of Metal Medium and Warp Stone Glow to lay over the shade we applied on the sides. Again, our target is the raised areas of the side. Results of our work so far are visible here. The steps are exactly the same for both sides. For extra effect, we will be applying Storm Hoss Silver on top of the Iron Hand Steel we highlighted with before. And that's all for today guys, thank you very much for watching.